Welcome back everyone to another episode of Mumbles. Today I'm here to bring you guys yet another game review. And the game that I'll be reviewing for you today is State of Mayhem, Masters of Anarchy. Now before we get into any of that, I do have to ask you guys all a huge favor. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel and make sure to ring that little notification bell. Ring a ding ding. If you ring a ding ding it, it will help the channel. It will help you keep up to date with what's going on on my channel daily. And it's just a good thing for everyone all around. So please, if you haven't already, do subscribe. With that out of the way, let's talk about State of Mayhem. Now, State of Mayhem is a game that is created by a game company called Lapovich. And they haven't really done many games at all. So this is like one of their first entries into the gaming industry. Now, this game is available for $5.99 on multiple systems, including Nintendo Switch, which is what we're reviewing it on, the Xbox One, and the PlayStation 4. Now, what the heck is this game about? This game is basically kind of like Grand Theft Auto. If all you did in Grand Theft Auto was kill, 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 and watch everyone die, die, die. Yes, that was an Overwatch reference, I apologize. But basically, that is what State of Mayhem is. Basically, it's a mindless game that is a twin stick shooter that asks you to basically kill everything in your path and not die. It's that simple. That's all it asks you to do. Nothing less, nothing more. So, there is a story to this game, but it is basically something about aliens coming and invading and blah, 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 and you have to kill them. Very unimaginative, very uninspired. Um, I'm just being honest with you. And it is for that reason that, like I said, it's kind of a mindless game. So now let's talk about the graphics, the soundtrack, and the controls. First off, the graphics in this game, they're really interesting. This is kind of what drew me to this game in the first place. The graphics in this game are very well put together, but they are kind of like hand-drawn graphics, as you see in the gameplay video. They are very pleasing to the eye. And even though they're kind of like hand-drawn graphics, they are very charming. And that is kind of what a, what a game needs, as far as graphics go. They're not the best graphics in the world, but they do have to be charming and pleasing to the eyes. Check and check for State of Anna, or State of Mayhem. Now, soundtrack-wise, this game has basically rock and roll playing the entire time. It really doesn't need any more, so I'm not going to rag on it for just having rock and roll music. But uh, it's one of those games that you definitely, it's just definitely gaming elevator music. There's no doubt about it. It's not really anything that you're going to go down the street whistling. Just nice, good rock and roll music to keep you in the mood of, I want to kill things. Now, control-wise, this game has pretty decent controls. It's a twin stick shooter, as I said. So one stick controls the movement of your character, the other stick controls the actual aiming or direction of your character, and then your bumpers basically are the fire button, you have two different primary guns, as well as the final or gas button for your car or whatever it is you're driving. So that's the controls, the controls work good. Now let's talk about the gameplay. The gameplay in this game is very simplistic, very easy to understand. As I've said, and as I will continue to say as far as it comes to this game, shoot, destroy, shoot, kill, murder, dead. That's basically what this game is. You go around shooting things, that's all there is to it. Now, as you proceed through this game, you will be able to upgrade your character. Things such as make him run faster, make him walk faster, blah, 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 blah. That kind of stuff. You will also be able to upgrade your gun. So make your gun shoot faster, give it uh, stronger bullets, give it, uh, you know, um, different features to it and all these things do contribute to some replayability value in this game now the other thing that i do want to mention in the gameplay section this game every couple levels gives you a different gun and you have no say in what gun you have so for example one level you may have a, the most funnest gun in the game the next level that gun may be taken from you so it all depends on what the game wants to give you so that's really all there is to this game. It is a mindless, killing, and proceed type game. So let's talk about the cons now. The first con to this game is that it is rather repetitive. Once you beat a couple levels and you see the repetition in it, you're going to uh, realize quickly, wow, Mumbles was right, this is a mindless game. There's not a lot of substance here. No, there's not. There's not a lot of substance there at all. It is kind of the same thing over and over and over again. Now the second con for this game is that those weapons remember that I told you about? I'm gonna mention them here. 
I wish that they had it that you could kind of pick what weapons you get to carry on with you through each level. That would be kind of neat. So those are really my only two cons for this game, and they are going to affect the game, unfortunately, in my scoring section. Um, State of Mayhem, Masters of Anarchy. Uh, this game is really great. I do love it. It's a great mindless game. It's one of those games, if you had a hard day and you just want something you don't have to think about, this is a perfect game for you. But it does struggle from lack of story and things like that. And it is for this reason, I gotta be honest, to give this game a 6 out of 10. Still a great game. $5.99, not gonna break the bank. If you need a mindless game, maybe you gotta go to the doctor's office and you don't want, you just want something you don't have to think about. Maybe you have to go to the dentist's office and you don't want something you have to think about. This would be a great game, especially because it's available on the Nintendo Switch. So I definitely recommend it. Anyways, guys, this has been my review of State of Anarchy, Masters of Mayhem. And I wanna thank you guys all so much for joining me. Please, smack that subscribe button. Smack that like button and smack all those buttons and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye everyone, take care.